Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. I am doing a collaboration with Charmin Khan who creates the most beautiful modified blooms. If you don't know what a modified bloom is, I do have a playlist that I've done on my channel so please check that out if you'd like. I will link it down in the description box along with Charmin's information as well. Um, I am doing today modified blooms and these have already been resined. Um, I'm doing these on little 8x8 eight eight glass cutting boards from the Dollar Tree. Super, super fun guys. Um, I'm going to walk you through the process so I hope you like it and uh, I will see you on the other side. Alright guys, today I am using a rectangle glass um, it's called a cutting board, but it's glass, and it is from the Dollar Tree in the U.S., and I bought this, gosh, a year ago, I guess, and I've just gotten around to them. Um, I paid $1.25 each for them, and I'm going to cover the bottom, and then we're going to paint on the top of the glass and then resin it, but we're going to do a uh, split base modified bloom on this. There will be two blooms. It should look pretty good once we get it resin. So let's get down and get busy. I'm going to get this taped up. Okay, guys. Here we go. The glass is six by six. It's got little feet on it. I have taped it. Put a little bag there. Taped around the edges. And that'll be stay on there until we resin it. I'm going to place it right here on my turntable. I've had, I've been painting today. So there's paint there. I am using the PPG. Uh, house paint on one side of this and I'm going to use a color place um, purple on the other side so that's really not straight but I'm just going to get this on here and I uh, don't want it too thick but I want it I do want it thicker in the middle where I blow it out so put some more on there in a minute when we get it all spun out here and it evened out now, blooming on this glass, um, it's a little different, I've noticed. Um, I did it once already, and then, <laughs> that piece is beautiful. Um, I use the same colors, but you have to get your paint a little thicker in the middle on it. Um, you do want to kind of spin it out to get it even, but you do want to go back and put more on it because you're going to be blowing the paint down. And then the color to go is this deep purple and it is a Concord grape. I have a little bit left of it. Okay, so I'm going to lay a little more paint right here. I'm gonna be doing that on the same side, on the purple side, because I wanna be able to glide that paint over the top of that glass without it grabbing. And I noticed the last time I did it, it grabbed a little bit, so. There. It's not a whole lot. It looks like a lot, but it's not. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to do two blooms. And I want purple on the white side. And I want to do my dark blue. It's a nebula. It's the hammerhead. It's very sparkly. I want to try the tail feather on both sides. Yeah, just do it like that. And the gold. <laughs> kind of everywhere <laughs> there all right so now we're going to put our cell activator in on top of that purple Thank you. 
Okay, let that accumulate a little bit. Give it a little bit of spin, not big. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else. All right. This is going to shine a lot. With all those TOPs in it. It's so pretty already. Now I'm going to modify it. So enjoy the music. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be all right. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I wanna stay here with you. I'm done with that. Looks pretty good. I'm going to move it over to my drawing table and um, I will do a close up here in just a second, but um, it's beautiful. I think it's going to turn out great. So stay tuned, guys. Give me all your love, give me all your love. 